Emily Thornberry launched a searing attack on the government yesterday for having appeased and cozied up to U.S. President Donald Trump. The shadow foreign secretary said that Mr. Trump, whose decision to designate Jerusalem as the Israeli capital has come in for global condemnation, has made ministers look like fools. She admonished those who had been holding his hand and hugging him close. A clear reference to car crash Prime Minister Theresa May. During an urgent Commons debate, Ms. Thornbury asked when will they realize that bending over for a bully only encourages that behavior, when what our country needs and what the world needs is a British government prepared to stand up to him. The sheer recklessness of that decision needs no debate, she stormed. Donald Trump is not crying fire in a crowded theater. He is deliberately setting fire to the theater. Then he has the unbelievable cheek to claim he's doing this to move forward the peace process when in reality he is setting it back decades. Her Tory counterpart Boris Johnson insisted that Mr. Trump remain the preeminent power able to exert influence and show leadership in restoring the Middle East peace process. But Middle East Minister Alistair Burt said that other countries would now have to come forward to fill the trust deficit the U.S. had created in peace negotiations between Israel and Palestine. Mr. Johnson stressed that the government stuck by its position that the status of Jerusalem must be resolved as part of a negotiated settlement between Israel and the Palestine.